Thank you to Jack Wills for sponsoring today's podcast. They've got a brand new sexy summer collection coming out, which I know you expected nothing less from. We're going on a little trip to show off the collection. You're going to see all the new bits and bobs. But this also means that when I come back, there's going to be a lot of tea that is going to be spilled on this podcast. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And thank you again to Jack Wills for sponsoring the pods. Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. I feel like I should get a new intro, uh, but until I get a bit more original, I'm just going to keep saying hello. Uh, today we are joined by the Bundelengers that is... <laughs> Kate no. <laughs> <laughs> that, you're waiting for that intro, weren't you? You weren't going to say it. I was writing it down. I was like, no, yes. Yeah, that's a say great Say hello. Intro. Hi, guys. It's me. I'm looking directly into the lens As right you now. should stare into their soul. Hi. It's me. <laughs> Vinda Leggett's my son. Do you know what? I'm <laughs> gassed that you said that yeah, now. No. That's going to make my day. Do you know, the first head. time I met you was at uh, one of the Amazon, the Love Struck High Love event. Struck, yeah. And you were like, hi. And I was like, I'm not going to lie to you here. I have to scroll past your videos because your ass makes me feel shit. You did say that. And you were like, okay. Oh my God, you know what? Someone else came up to me and they were like, I just want, can you do a turn? It was oh. Victor. Victor came up to me oh. and he was like, can you do a turn? Because I don't think it's real. And I was like, it's real. Bitch. It's all me. This is why I made sure to wear my like Spanx trousers. Oh, of course. People so say the same to me. They're like, that can't be that flat. It can't no. be real. And I'm like, it is. No. It is. Uh, don't it's say not that. an illusion. Right. We're going to start off with Love Struck High. Oh my gosh. For those of you who don't know, it's like a reality dating series on Amazon Prime, Prime mm-hmm. Video. Prime Video. But this one's a lot better than your old Love Island and that because they've got all types of sexualities in there. Did you go in straight or did you go in what? I, do you know what? It's so weird. I feel like they did not touch on my <laughs> sexuality at all. All, which I kind of love because I feel like a lot of people are making it their thing. Like obviously like we need to say this and you need to say this. But th- this show was so chill because they literally didn't make me talk about it unless I wanted to. But I did talk about it and then they cut the scene out anyway. So, <laughs> Thanks guys. Well, now no, it's time to address that. No, I went yeah. um, I went in unlabeled and came out unlabeled, came out the same. <laughs> I came out do you know what is so same. weird? I feel like I definitely sway towards men. Like it's literally 99% men. But yeah. There is the like ten percent muff, yeah, yeah. Other. So it's just like, do you know, I don't feel the need to like put myself in a box at the moment. I'm yeah. not gonna because I'm so young. Like we're we're so young. Why are we? How old ourselves? are you? Twenty one. She's a little lamb. I'm a little baby. So <laughs> I just don't feel what can the I need say? to pressure myself. Like, I agree, and I feel like sexuality. You know, when you go through life, it could change. Like you could become yeah. like a massive like you could just love women. It's a su- in, like, it's a spectrum. Years. So I had I put a little question thing up on okay. my. Uh, on the old Instagram. I saw this, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Everyone guessed it was you. <laughs> uh, literally everyone was like, Katie Franklin. I, I was like, save it. yourselves. No, I nearly <laughs> shared yeah, it. And I was like, like oh it'd God. be really fucking bait if I did that, wouldn't it? So <laughs> well, I didn't. know. Um, how, was it script? Right, okay, actually, no, I'm gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna start from the beginning. Mm-hmm. How did you get approached for it? So um, I got a DM on Instagram and I and I was just thinking like, oh, this is one of those random, because I, to be honest, I'm not trying to sound vain, but I do get DMs <laughs> like this a lot. So a lot of the time the it's like- up and down like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, I get a DM like this a lot, like random casting agencies yeah. being like, we've got this new show and I just ignore a lot of them because they're Usually not really they're like, like that interesting. Yeah. yeah, like, oh, Channel 4's <laughs> doing it and I don't really care. But <laughs> when I heard it was like an LGBTQ+, plus, like inclusive, I've never heard of that. So oh, like, Love Island, you'll never see that on there. So never I was like, this is really cool. babe, no. You, yeah, exactly. So I was like, this is sick. Like, um, it sounds good and it sounds like it could be big. Mm-hmm. So I just, I did a few Zooms and they were like, yeah, we like your personality. And I was like... Okay, same. so did you like know who else was going to be on it with you, or did was it just you turn up? Turn and up. Then, oh, and really, do it, babe? That's yeah. terrifying. It was actually so scary. Like, and I had no idea. And obviously, they brought on fucking loose. I'm going to say loosely, but they brought on my ex. I don't know if they did it to fuck with me or not. They did. They did. They did. I think they did that. But when I say that, it sounds vain. Like, no. It sounds vain. I'd, I'd think it as well. I, I mean, none of mine that. would be invited on. They've got like no teeth. So. Oh no. <laughs> no, no don't worry about it. <laughs> no. like, it's fine. Slight dig, slight yeah. dig. You watch it. <laughs> yeah, get your shits together. <laughs> um, so was it as script? Because a lot of people think, oh, it must be scripted. But I have a feeling, because the amount of drama, it, it can't be that scripted, surely. Because no. how do you act that well? It it wasn't it actually wasn't scripted at all yeah there'll obviously be scenes like where they go okay well this person has said this and like if you go into the scene this is the topic of conversation right, of course yeah but you're not going to be like 
they said this and this and this, and you need to say this. It's not like scripts. If it was, I'd probably have a lot more airtime because I'm great at acting. Do you know what I mean? I'm great at acting, but I was very much myself and I was so yeah. like subdued and like just <laughs> the most chill, <laughs> mundane, dull down version of myself because I was fucking shitting it every single day on that set. So it was, it was crazy. like actual classes because I saw the sex ed one. Yeah. The sex ed class. <laughs> yeah. Of course. of course you did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That I just skipped forward to that and then yeah, went me off. with the cucumber. Of course. Why would they choose that No, scene? I was thinking that. I bet you did so much in that scene. I, just that. That was like a two hour lesson. And that's just the was one it? scene. That they, yeah. So was like the lessons long? Like a lot of yeah. them? <sighs> all of them were fun. It was actually like being at school and we were all just tired of it. We were all just like, oh, <laughs> just let, let's kiss. Let's just kiss. Let's we just, not just kiss. Let's hump each other. Kiss and see. On the table. <laughs> no, sex education. It was so long. <laughs> It was so long. But yeah, we um we did sex ed class and I remember I had a really, really great time in that class. And then all I see is just me jerking off a cucumber. Oh, of course. Of course. That was the highlight Thanks, of all Prime. of the editors. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Prime. Did the teachers ever break character? No. Really? No. Even the principal, she was genuinely terrifying. Really? That's terrifying. Genuinely scary. Like literally um, when she would come into the room, we like some people like Huss, for example, he was the loudest person on that set. Like you mm -hmm. see him, if you've watched the show, yeah, you'll see him being crazy. And you think he's not like that in real life. He's playing it up. No, he's, he's like actually that, that fucking crazy. Yeah. He must have been a nightmare at school, full stop. Uh, yeah, genuinely. I love him though, but he was, yeah, definitely a nightmare. <laughs> I'll let it slide. I love him, but yeah, no, but yeah, he would literally like torment her and she wouldn't even break. She would actually just cuss him out. <laughs> really? Just in character, she would cuss him out. Mood. And it was just so funny. Mood. I'd be so alone. Even to the crew, like if the crew was like to her, oh, can you, they called her her real name and her name, I forgot her name, it begins with a T. Rhea, Rhea, her name's Rhea, hey Rhea, if you're watching. <laughs> T, um, yeah. Not at all a T. <laughs> but um, yeah, so they said to her, Rhea, and she's like, ah, Principal Nelson. And I was like, oh my God. She like, was method she, acting. Yeah, method acting She went acting home and whipped way. her kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. She was there for it. Fucking Fully, hell. Full energy the whole time, full sense. Kind of like that little gossip. <laughs> Any drama that wasn't shown? Oh my God, so much. Really? Because oh so when much. I think of like shows like this, I would think they'd put in every single bit of drama. Do you know what? It's, it's, it's so weird. It's like, if it doesn't fit your storyline or the narrative that they like kind of want you to be, they won't put it in. So like oh. everyone had their own, like, f for me, I felt like they wanted me to be perceived as this like bitch. Cause like they, when I first came in, you'll notice my outfit. It was like Mean Girls inspired, like with the little pink trousers. I was Ooh. gonna wear them today actually, just to be like matching on theme. <laughs> the set. But um, <laughs> no, so they wanted me to be like a Mean Girl. My top said, kiss my ass. And honestly, Bundelang is like, I As am. They it should. does yeah, make yeah. sense, it yeah, does. It does. But no, they, um, I feel like they wanted me to be some kind of like Mean Girl, but I'm the most, I'm genuinely the opposite of that. Like I run away from confrontation. Yeah, I do feel like I people can. think that like have some, is it preconceptions that yes, word? Yeah. About you before they meet you. It's scary. And you're actually really nice. I'm, do you know what? It makes me sad because I'm so anxious as well that I actually overthink that stuff. No, I think it's because you're pretty. Genuinely, <laughs> not to like literally rim you, but as in, <laughs> you know, when you see someone pretty, you're like, they actually have to be a bitch. No, yeah. They surely have yeah, to be yeah, a yeah. bitch. They're jealous of you. They're jealous of you. That's what saying. <laughs> My mum says that all the time. It's so like, true. It's so pretty. <laughs> but no, no, no. I feel like they wanted me to be a bitch. So, um, yeah, I think they wanted me to be this mean person, but because I was so like shy the whole time, I was mm. genuinely so scared the whole time, like filming, it was just terrifying for me. Um, so literally like 12 cameras all on one you at once and you're just in a scene, go, go talk. Would and they wouldn't let you speak off camera. Really? Not one, that's I was gonna why say... it was not scripted because they wouldn't let you speak off camera. That's really awkward. I'd it's be fucked. like, it's no, literally, let's say you're, uh, you're dating someone and you guys have just like had your first kiss mm -hmm. and you're like, by the way, what's your last name? No, uh, uh, no, STC. Save for the cameras. STC, save it for the cameras. It's literally save the chat. STC, that's what they say to you. What? You have a chaperone in the middle of you. Even if you're on break, don't speak, don't speak, don't speak. Which is why it was like, you genuinely- they're like mute, so like, Literally, and it was scary. Because I can be myself if I'm comfortable. Do you know what I mean? But you have I no cameras even, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't be able to be comfortable if I can't even get to know the person I'm kissing on screen. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So it was very much, it wasn't, on, it wasn't scripted at all because they wanted it to be so natural that you guys only got to speak when you were being filmed. So that's you've got quite everything good though. Out. I think I'd prefer that. But do you it think that the way they uh, kind of portrayed you affected maybe how people treated you at the start of it? Yeah. Because like, obviously people's first impressions, they probably thought... <laughs> He's a bitch. No, and do you know what the thing is? I actually look like a bitch as well because okay, so <laughs> I I met a lot of people through that show that I'm so close with now, and I'm so yeah. thankful because they've really helped me through this whole journey because like we're actually mates, mm -hmm. but they literally all perceived me to be a bitch because I'm so shy. And you were just sat there, anxiety riddled. Literally, like, I was anyone, like, please. But they looked at me like, 
I was just, uh, but I wasn't oh. being like that at all. I'm not like stush, like at all. Die of, like, please. But, no, it's just, they all thought I was some stush girl that was just like too, like, she's too good for us. But it's just because I was actually too scared to speak to anyone. Yeah. So I just didn't. You were just I, was just, I couldn't get to know them you anyway. Know, we've all been there. I've got to say that's yeah. fine. Um, was there anyone that you would have maybe liked to have got to know a little bit more that you weren't? Sort of is the word coupling up with? Yeah, I guess you could say coupled yeah, up. I'm gonna go Love Island. Love style. Island vibes. I um, oh, I don't know if I should say it. You know, because there's yeah. Ooh. No, actually, not gonna say that. No, no, no. I was gonna say mm. it, but yeah, well, it, um, calls, it was uh, a girl actually. Which I was is why about it was to say so, yeah. was it a girl? But I just didn't get the opportunity to speak to her. But she's so lovely, and we're mates now, which is why I wouldn't want to say it because it's a bit weird. Oh, okay, she'd be, be like, fair. wait, when this? When <laughs> we're fuck? not having sleepovers anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> ever come hump to my me. house ever again. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? You're no, lesbian yeah. germ. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to say it now. But yeah, no, she she was great and. It was weird, like, we, again, we never got to talk off camera. So if we did talk on camera, it was because they said, okay, we think you guys would be great in a scene, go mm. talk now. And, like, and we would talk yes. and I'd be like, yay, but- Thank you. But because I was so scared to speak on camera, more time, I was just there at the back, like, <laughs> to everyone's <laughs> Everyone. conversation. Yeah, just waiting. You're taking notes. That's yeah, what I'd be doing. Exactly. I'd be mentally taking notes. Observing. As you should. Water up. Can we talk mm. about Lindsay Lohan, by the way, please? What? How random? <laughs> How random? Literally, there's that me and Theo called each other and we were like, wait, is it actually Lindsay Lohan? Because we saw we <laughs> I follow Lindsay? Lindsay Lohan on Instagram and I saw oh, yeah. exciting announcement. I was like, is is it like she's gonna be is announcing? That? Yeah. And I got an email being like, the person that's narrating is gonna be announced Mad. soon. And I was like, this is definitely Lindsay Lohan. Like mm -hmm. Freaky Friday, mean girls Lindsay Lohan, the icon herself. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. I was literally watching her growing up and being like, I wish I could like, meet her. She said my name. Did now. you ever meet her though? No. Oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, but surely. No, maybe. one day, maybe. If it if it's it wonderful. imagine it blows up and there's like an actual thing and we all have to meet she, her. Well, the good sick. thing is she definitely knows who you are. And she's, she's definitely said gone my name in Who's the girl with the big bum? And that is how you can die happy. Exactly. Yeah, Bundle exactly. is right there. Bundle yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that a Bundle is Katie? Get her to say that. If I could get Lindsay Lohan to say Bundle Langer. She's I'd obviously die. watching this. So Lindsay, if you could just drop Lindsay. me a DM. Yeah. Yeah, get your 100%. shit together. What did your family think about you going on it? So the thing is, yeah, I'm so out of touch with my family, except my mom and my sister. Right, okay. But the rest of them, I don't really like speak to them at all. Oh, so they didn't really know you were going on this. No, thing. my dad. <laughs> I they were like, him, my dad didn't even know I did TikTok until recently. <laughs> really? He's um he's a construction worker, so he was like on the on the bricklayer, like Oh, oh I bet all late. the bricklayers were like, You're fucking door, mate, you fucking smash. That is what happened. <laughs> Sorry, that was <laughs> <bit That's> <laughs> No, that's what happened. Yeah. Oh was my like, god. Oh, um one of the lads from work, his daughter watches your vids. And I was like, oh, what? What do you mean? I don't <laughs> even do anything. Yeah. What is it then? Oh, it's TikTok, Tic Tac. What is that? He doesn't know <laughs> yeah. anything about social media. Doesn't know shit. Doesn't know anything. So <clears throat> I think he's still got like a Nokia. Like he doesn't even have like God any. God forbid. Do you know what I mean? He's just got a little brick phone. Yeah. He's a trapper. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a brick layer. But no, my mom, she's, she's a trapper. She, she's, um, she's really supportive, but she's so like, she's what? Like, bless her, she, I don't want to say her age. She stopped my set her age. But she's in her late 50s. Right. So obviously she's not really like savvy with this. I kind don't of really thing. get it. Yeah, yeah. She watched it on her phone. Bless her. She downloaded the Amazon that's app. So cute. She's oh, so cute. That's really and sweet. And she watched it on a little phone. I was like, it was so cute. <laughs> I said, just come over. And she's like, you don't even have a TV. And I was like, that's true. That's and that so doesn't true. make any sense. We can watch it on the laptop. I was going to watch it on the laptop. Yeah, yeah, of course. But she was like, no, I'm not doing that. So in. she didn't mind because obviously it's can be quite like a. She, like you're flirting with she people. She did not you know expect I mean? to see me kissing a girl. That's the first thing she said. Oh, did she, she know you're I'm like... proud of you. It was like, oh, I didn't expect to see you kissing <sighs> girls. Because she doesn't know shit yeah. about my stuff. I was going to so say, she doesn't she even know? watch my like, TikToks or anything. And I just, I don't really <sighs> think it's her business because like, you don't, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. everyone, again, it's a spectrum. It's super casual. Mm -hmm. I'll date who I want. You'll find out later. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for my mom, I think like, I don't really tell her that kind of thing because I don't really think it's that deep. Like she's going to love me regardless. I don't need to let yeah, her know. Do you know what I mean? But she was like, I didn't expect you to see you kissing girls and I was like yeah, not even a warning that. beforehand no. by the way by the way I'm proud of you just I just went to see you kissing girls I was like yeah she's an ally yeah we ally. Love her. <laughs> ally no but she she was like oh, I'm really proud of you afterwards oh, after oh. the whole like conversation about that Thank she God. was really proud of me which is exciting and it's nice to see her support and stuff she's been so chill like she's such a laid-back mom this is what I mean because I feel like some people like I feel like my parents would be supportive as well now I think once you've had a career like if I told my parents before, by the way, I'm going to go on TikTok and talk about my arsehole. They'd be like, <laughs> what you should do is you should not do that. Yeah. But when you start getting big, I feel like they're like, I'll trust you yeah. with what you're doing. Do you know what? So did your mum know that you were big on TikTok? Because that's where I first saw you was TikTok. Yeah. So it's funny because where where I grew up, I grew up in like this tiny little council house in um, Oxford. And it was like, 
literally I would go to my mom's room because there was no other space to, to actually film content. So I would be in my mom's window, just like filming TikToks <laughs> every day. Month. That's the only reason that she knew about it is because I was in her oh, room in all her the room. time. And she was always like, okay, hey, you're leaving my room in a mess. I would literally like, <laughs> I would dress up in my Nando's uniform and de- wear like you different characters. Yeah. Oh yeah. I worked at Nando's for like two years. Did you? Yeah, it was like one of my first jobs I actually kept. Did you enjoy got, it? It was great. I, I loved Nando's. I want to see, I recommend that job because I think it's just, you meet so many really cool people. And the food. And the food. If you're going to go for anything, go for the fucking yes. food. Fino no, better on your break. Literally. Oh, what a day. But no, um, I, I love working at Nando's. I've worked in so many places though, but Nando's is the only one that stuck. Had a lot of jobs. I've had, I've worked in, I've worked in, I worked in Jack Wills. I worked in Lush. <laughs> I was one of those girls that would shove bath bombs in your face. No, I had a group yeah. interview at Lush and I have, I still have anxiety from Me it. Me too. Yeah, they were like, sell this soap. And I was like, it's lavender no literally it's no literally this root from this plant is really <laughs> benefit oh it was scary skin tightening they fired me because i was stalked oh. i was stalked oh that's your fault to yeah fair. to be yeah, yeah do you know what Great. it was actually interfering with the work though like the guy would come in <laughs> you can't help it they would come in and we'd have like little code names for him they'd say mrs what? jones is here but it was actually just the weird guy sorry was this during tiktok your time on tiktok uh or? right before right before so i went to last and then a month later joined car? nando's Pardon? How did you get one of those? Today, Skin and Me are kindly sponsoring the podcast and they are giving millions of people an accessible way to have the best skincare and to get your favourite ideal glowy skin. A thing called a daily doser by Skin and Me is a personalised skincare which applies a personalised blend of active ingredients suited to your skin to give you the best possible skin. They offer treatments for acne, aging, skin pigmentation and more. And it's delivered to your door monthly and it's sustainable. So no polar bears will be dying this month. Usually it's £24.99, but if you use the code GRACE, you can get your first month for £3.50. And you can reformulate your solution anytime you want because we know that your skin is constantly changing. Thank you again for Skin and Me for sponsoring the podcast. Look at me. Uh, I want one. No, no, how did you get one? I just, I mean, what? The, like a stalker. Oh, oh. Not the job. Well, <laughs> it's the Bundelengers. Oh, no, no, no yeah, genuinely, it actually causes problems. Gone. It does cause problems. Really? I think I was like 16 at the time and I just like, oh, actually, that's even weirder. Yeah, very weird. But I did have curves back then, do you know what I mean? So obviously, can't help it, guys. Yeah. It's difficult. <laughs> But I would wear these like flowy trousers to Lush because I wanted to fit in with all the vegans. Of course, tote bags <laughs> and, and that. Yeah, I love it. And they would really like accentuate. And so I got like a bit of a following, like as in like oh, men right, okay. following me Literally, around. Literally, yeah. Following. And then one of them was like the ringleader and he would follow me to work. And he actually came to my interview because I used to work in Kiko prior what to that. He used to hell? watch me at Kiko and then came to my interview at Lush and came to them afterwards and said, hire her. She's great. And then they told me after I got the job. And I was like, well, oh. you should have told me that before because I didn't know he knew where I worked, guys. That's yeah, I got fired how did you get rid of him? Oh, um, the police searched his house <clears throat> and he kind of just realized that I was serious and left it alone. He had a wife and kids. It was really bad. I've made a story time about it, obviously, as well. Of course. If you Google it, it will literally come up like, I think it's like 16 or 17 year old girl, like stalked in Oxford. Yeah, it's fucked. We should make a news, sure. I mean, hey, all in the newspapers headlines. since day one, guys. Since day one, making headlines That's for real. Me. I never knew that. Yeah. Ugh. It's been a really crazy fucking journey. To be fair, I feel like you can't really do anything. Like, people don't really take stalkers seriously. Yeah. They're just like, okay, they're following you. The police were like, yeah, well, where's the where's the proof that he's actually following you? And I sent a video. What are you meant to do? Be like, you're right. You I did that. Me? No, you I, did. I, I, I genuinely <laughs> you did that. I did that because I was so sick of it. I did it. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, he followed me for a little bit and then actually has no shame. He just stood in the back of the video like this. And it's online. Like literally the video is online. Really? And he's walking across the bank, like follow me the whole time. His Weird. kids must be like, dad. Yes. So, like, and no shame. Absolutely no shame. They never, they never, uh, there, so was two. Yeah. The, the main guy with the kids, <laughs> uh, he had his house searched. The second guy was not found. He so he could still be at large. He's probably watching this right now. He's probably outside that door having a wank. And we're none the wiser. And the ball trimmers that you mentioned earlier. He's looking fresh. He's looking, <laughs> he's, he's neat and tidy down there, I yeah. have to say. Yeah. That's the one thing we can give to him. But did the going on Love Struck High, did it give you like memories back to school? Because how was your time at school? Good or bad? Do you know what? Again, you, a, a lot swick. of people have preconceptions that I was this really mean girl. <laughs> I was a little goth. I was a little goth you were and I goth. had a penny board and I used to go penny boarding around the school and I used to get made fun of. <laughs> but do you know what? Towards the end of my school... 
when I was like like 16, I kind of like stopped dyeing my hair blue and stuff and actually was like pretty yeah, cool. Blue hair. Yeah, you I were blue a goth. hair, yeah, green fair enough. hair. It, and I was all like 14, 15. I don't know. My mom again, she's so <laughs> choked. She doesn't care. Fuck it. As long as I wasn't getting piercings, she didn't mind. Mood. But I did have a stretch. I had like a big Oh, you I actually had, like, got it stretched. Millimeter. Yeah. Did it managed to close up. Oh. Yeah. It did close up. It did. Wow. She's tight now. <laughs> but no, it, it was it was she's really tight. smelly. That's why I got rid of it. It smelled really bad. Anyone yeah. that has gauges, they know it stinks. It's awful. That's the worst thing I've had in my life. But yeah, you could just imagine a little scene, emo Katie with like. I feel like that was the thing back in the day. I remember um this is really weird, and I feel like I will ask to cut this out. But at one point, I used I went through this phase at school where I used to type it. I used to like like emo boys. I used to find that like a kink, and I used to type in on YouTube emo boys kissing. <laughs> <laughs> We've all had the same life. <laughs> no, I literally just like, I used to type in like scene scene guys. Yeah, it was like it, it was a turn but on. Why am I looking at two boys kissing? It's I fit. It is fit. On. Watch Love Struck High. It's <laughs> fit. They're not emos, but they are still fit. Oh, imagine them with like a quiff. <laughs> like, I love you, bro. I might need some more drink, actually. Oh, actually, I, It's really bad. What are you drinking? Uh, Bacardi and pineapple juice. Ooh, Look at me. Bacardi. Exotic. Right. I'm in my Vifa right now, in my head. The but no. bright enough. No, I am. Um, Tell me when. That's fine. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, tell me when, but you were already, you knew. <laughs> you don't want me to be lying. that fucked yeah, on the scene. <laughs> But no, I, it's bad. I, I was literally, I'm so excited to be here because I actually love watching the pod. But um, I was also like, I'm going to be really scared. So I oh, should yeah. drink. Do you know what though? I've managed to calm myself down a little bit with the drinking because the first like three episodes I'd leave and I remember I'd wake up the next day. Like, I don't know what I spoke about on that. I, I watched a few that were very interesting. Okay. Oh, did you? Um, George was very jokes. <laughs> I that I pod. loved them too. They were so, <laughs> so funny. So funny. Oh my gosh. I love them so much. They're so funny. Shout out to Jay and George. We love yeah. you. Instead of two my boys kissing, we'll just... <laughs> George, George Wait, kissing. Cheers to that. Cheers oh yeah, to that. Cheers, cheers, cheers to the emo boys kissing. Yeah, niche. we love that. <laughs> that was my, like, that was literally like what I would like, my niche. No, but I'm glad someone gets it. Because I remember when I told my friend that, she was like, what? No. And I was like, oh, you you didn't do that. King shaming fine. me. You <laughs> yeah, king shaming me. I'll tell you. <laughs> At least I'm into legal things. I was finding things. myself. Yeah, like... No, I really was. I really was finding myself. And I, <laughs> I don't know what to. I found. Yeah. No, literally. Just my friends had an intervention. Kissing. I'm not even joking. My friends had an intervention. <laughs> what with you? They were like, yeah, they were like, you're doing too much. Like, <laughs> we're worried about you. Because I, I used to be so shy. And then I became like this, like, Slipknot listener, like, heavy metal. If you've listened to Slipknot, heavy metal, like... It, it's crazy and my friends were worried about me because none, none of my friends were like this. I don't yeah. know where I got it from. It was literally from... Tumblr? Yes. Yeah. Yes, watching those little emails. I was a depressing Tumblr. They were literally saying. Of course, I was like, why is the of sky course. gray? Yeah. Why is my life so hard? I'm just, it's so difficult for me to be 14 and like have all my bills paid because yeah, I don't pay fucking bills. We were so emotional. For I no had, reason. My Tumblr it was one of those ones where you'd go on the page and sad music would start playing. What was the need? What actually was the need? Mm. No, it was not no, good. No, it is bad. No, it is bad. And I'm glad it's been deleted because if anyone ever found that account, they'd be like, this girl needs therapy. No, mine's CBT. definitely out there somewhere. Yeah. Mine's definitely out there somewhere. <laughs> you won't know it's me though because I had so many weird alias names. Like I used Please. to call myself like Go Sky. On. Oh, yeah, it no. was it was like Gothic Sky Unicorn or something. Do you want to know what mine was? <laughs> Snape got swag twenty four seven. And I lost my virginity young, so I don't know how that happened. Oh my God, yeah, no, it wasn't good. that is great. No. That is great. Yeah. I love it. It, it went downhill from there, actually. <laughs> I think that's where this all started. Um, we're going to move on from that. All the comments are like virgin. Um, dating apps, you can't go on them. I've done this research. You know what? Yeah. Go it's on. bad because I actually still am. <coughs> Are you? Yeah. But it's it's not intentional. Like, I've struck I went well then. Yeah, sorry guys. Well, uh, I was gonna ask you that later like, <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm not so basically I was out with one of my mates from Love Struck and they were like, Why'd you still have Tinder? And not I was Tinder. like, no, I know of all the fucking, at least it could have been like rare or something. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get onto that one. I'm still on the queue. No, yeah, literally. fucking let me on. <laughs> let me on the fucking yeah. app, guys. It's been a whole what year now. What do you want now. from me to keep dating men from Birmingham? No. Get <laughs> fucked. Yeah, no, literally. Fuck off, guys. No, but I'm I'm still waiting list for rare. So it has to be Tinder from now. But no, <laughs> yeah. so um, 
I don't use it or anything, but obviously it's just there because like, it just is. Like, I just have the app. Um, and I went back on it to say like, look, I've not had any conversations in such a long time. Yeah. But then because I went on the app, it like alerted people that I was on the app. And Everyone I got a bunch was swiping to you. Why are you on Tinder? But most of them are, we know this is a fake account. We reported it. It's actually not. I actually do need some attention. So I'm on Tinder. Yeah. Do you know what? It must be nice for people to think it's fake. On my <laughs> hinge, people are just like, they just take the piss out of me. They're like, what, flat ass TikTok girl? No. And I'm like, is that actually how you approach me right no. now? Because you like me first. Oh my yeah, fucking God. That's a violation. No, okay. Mine's not yeah, as bad as yeah. that then. Good All right. You. That's good. Good no, for you. No, that's good. Yeah. No, but I'm not on I'm not on dating apps right now. Would you ever meet someone off a dating app though? Because I feel like it's different yeah. when you're, you would? Oh yeah. <sighs> I met someone on a dating app like right before Love Struck. Right before Still. I went on the show. Yeah. It went really wrong. Went oh. really, well, really wrong. He had a Tinder. girlfriend actually. Oh. He had a girlfriend. And I found out because I saw him tattooing a girl on his story. And I was like, Who's this? why are you tattooing? But it was like Who's a tattoo that? here. Oh, an I was intimate like, tat. You're not a tattoo artist. It was a stick and poke. Oh, wait, sorry. You should have just said that. He's not a tattoo artist. Yeah, well, like, that makes it even babe, more weird. You're yeah. not a tattoo artist. This is a stick and poke in a bed. And then he posts a picture of them like, happy Sunday. I'm like, do you know what? You're fucked. Men don't have any remorse. They don't care. I'd have been straight on that girl's profile. No, Get that removed I did, straight no, away. I did. I, Laser. Yeah, I did let her know, but well, she didn't did. want to hear it. So They never do. They never do. They I never do. Up, I give up telling them because I feel bad because it's like my, well, like, I'm in your business well. now for no reason. But you I just, should be I in their business. Know. I did say, by the way, just so you know, I've been on a date with them. They always get pregnant boyfriend. by them a week later as well. I don't know what yeah. it is. And then they're like, I've got to do it. I've got to stay with him now. You don't. Congratulations, You don't. Yeah. Wonder if it's a boy or a girl. Mm. He doesn't love you. Um, <laughs> anyway, catfishing. Um, apparently, you've had a really big story mm. of a catfish. Go mm. on, pop off. It's so bad though. Like I, I haven't heard this. I look back and cry. <coughs> oh, sorry if you're lost. <laughs> sorry, 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 lost. sorry to bring that. Technically, <laughs> he wasn't a real person, so he didn't die. But no. So um, when I was younger, I, it's actually bad though. Like if you, so basically, I was really young. Right. Like I was only like what 15 16 oh just, right okay young yeah like yeah. young um but then it went on till i was like 17 so it went on for it's a few years for a while then a while yeah on and off on and off and i remember him just being like oh like every time we'd stop speaking he would be like oh like it's by the way this is his mum, and like he's actually dying in hospital right now and if you don't like speak to him you won't even hear his last words imagine and you're like what 16 like He's lying. He's oh lying. Like, the guy was so fucked. But yeah, I made a whole video on it. He, we talked for like, yeah, like on and off of two years. But he was three different guys. Did you have a FaceTime or anything? Yeah. You did, But right, he okay. would literally get a video of this guy that he was like, well, he catfished like three different guys. Um, but he would get a video of the guy being like, hey, how are you? And then he'd be like, it would be like losing connection. And he'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. Like the connection's dropping. And I'd be like, oh, okay. But I would see him speak. So you would believe it, yeah, It yeah. would look like it was real. Well, I mean, obviously, I'd believe it as well. Yeah, who the fuck is... Do you know what I mean? But I mean, I should have probably dipped on the, the second time, for, the first time, probably. That's mad. But you're naive and you're like, oh, he's a beautiful guy. I'd still fall for it. I'm sorry, yeah. I really would. Yeah. i like, he's just, you know, he's really busy. He's a no, busy man. No, literally, me yeah. being like the little emo that I was, I was like a scene <laughs> guy as well. Like, well, just God. like cool and edgy. I was like, he's an American guy. Like, he's so cool. Oh, but that was your first red flag. I was yeah. just get catfished by some random old, like, old so man. how did you find out well i i still don't know who he is though like he literally could i i oh, really stalkers i he's either dead oh. which would suck Rip. actually because it's a bit peak but because the oh. last time i heard about him he was dying but was he actually but was dying? he actually dying yeah. i spoke to his mum on the <laughs> phone what? yeah i spoke to his what are you talking, what's so going I was on? Like, I was like 17 at the time and I was so over it. I'd not spoken to him for so long. Like when I say it was like a few years, it was, right. but it was like on and off. Like I wasn't always oh, okay, consistently right. falling for the bullshit. But yeah. when I was feeling weak, I was. But um, yeah, so I remember he was basically saying that, um, you know, it was his mum and all this stuff. And I spoke to a woman on the phone. Um, but yeah, she basically was just like this Southern lady saying that he was dying. What was he dying from? Um, well, do you know what? It was, I never really understood exactly, but I believe it was because he was like, like, I don't want to say, it's really peak, but he was like saying he was suicidal. Well, that's what his mum said. Oh. But I don't, it's probably bullshit. But was it his mum? I mean? Was it his mum? It wasn't his mum. This could have been his mate. The woman sounded very young. Like, oh, right. You know okay. what people think? The speculation is that it was oh. actually him and that he's actually a woman. That's what people think. I've watched Catfish. This happens a lot. Yeah. This happens yeah. a lot. People think that. And people, he was basically saying like, you'll be on my bedside table and you are like, I'll be on the bedside and you say what you want to say to him. And I didn't, I didn't like- Did you do it? No. Oh, okay. Because he's done it so many times. But then he did come back again. 
and said he just got back from rehab <sighs> and that he actually had a mental breakdown. God. The guy was basically a bullshitter. He lied so much that I didn't believe anything. Yeah, but this point. would be an amazing episode for Catfish. Have you ever it thought would. about doing that? They you should have done reach that. Out to me. They Why did you reach do out that? To me. But I just feel like <laughs> it's just really actually quite traumatizing. Like it's oh quite yeah, a lot. of course. Like, but I was listen. so young at the time as well. Like I really was. I was really naive as well. I just really wanted to see the best in people, and it was just yeah. so shit of him. Like what fucking dickhead. Like <sighs> who does that to someone? No, but who actually does do that? It. Honestly, I feel like he still watches my stuff. I'm being serious. I feel like he's actually watching. You better if fuck off. This, do you know what Tylus, I mean? Yeah. His name's Tyler. That, well, that was your first Tylus. red flag. What on earth is that name? It was an emo name. It's like Stylus. It was an emo name. My name was Sky. So <sighs> yeah, no, fair it enough. Does make actually, sense. yeah, it does. No, it does. Listen, <laughs> go back to listening to Black Veil Brides. What can you do? Did you used to? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Any men that might be watching this that didn't have an interest in me are now just like, no. No, but the emo ones that are still in that phase, or not a phase, Rock it's on. not a phase. It's, it's not, not a phase, fam. Do you know what I mean? It's not a phase. I'm um, here for life. No, but I used to listen to like like Black Veil Rise. Of course. Obviously Green Day, everyone listens Bring to Bring Me the Horizon. Um, Pierce the Veil. Mm. No, I used to like this. I, and I used to find the lead singer so fit. I used to want him to be my boyfriend. Like I actually, and he, that's what the catfish looked like. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah. It was literally, I just mean, went on my Tumblr and just probably took a picture. Got the, from got that. the clues. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Up the emos. Do you know what I mean? May yeah. you live long and prosperous yeah. lives and have many eyeliners. Anyway, Bite House. Um, so I didn't know. <laughs> that mm. I am, um, I don't know what, I think it's because I joined uh, TikTok a little bit later. You did. I did. So did, I think I actually missed this part because, so explain the Bite House. Who mm. was in it? We, okay. we can cut out any bitch, Jonathan. All right. Yeah. Right. So it was Monty Keats, yep. Sophie John, Em and Lars, which are like a duo. They're just best friends. They're like twins. They look like they could be sisters. Um, and then myself, Lily Rose, and then it's it's Shawnee and Surface, which is right. like Jake. Um, but they, they left. It was all really weird. Like there was a bunch of different people at different times. It was crazy. It was a fucking insane so, time. So was this your like idea? Did you guys make the idea or did you get approached? Yeah. So basically what happened was I had a manager at the time that was like more of like a friendship basis. Obviously I was only like what? Like 17, 18, like yeah. just coming into social media, like trying to like find my feet. And he was my friend. And he basically just said like, I've got this like crazy idea that, you know, the hype house is trending. This is when the hype house is a big right, yeah. thing. What if we do the UK version? Was and this was like, before the Wave shit. House or after Wave uh, House? Before. We were the right, first okay. UK content house. Wow. Like, yeah, crazy. Um, crazy. <laughs> crazy. But yeah, so he, he said the idea to me. And then a few months later, I remember I just turned, I think I just turned 19 at the time. And he said like, let's do it. Let's put it into action. And I was like, oh shit. And he said, we've got someone to fund it. And like, we just need people to, to be in it. And I said, okay, I've got a bunch of friends that would love it. And mm -hmm. then we like, accumulated this so you group. all knew each other beforehand i didn't know shawnee and jake right okay um but i did know lily emma laws and seven and seven monty i didn't yeah. know them all and because they the were together at the time the weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah right okay i was literally I, I feel like no one knows this but i actually was one of the first people in that house like was selected and then i was gonna pick who else that's would be mad it. yeah except you shawnee had like the harry potter hat i was yeah yeah literally i selected them gryffindor I, i'm yeah 100 yeah that's mad so how long did it go on for a year and a bit. That's a, a long a time. It was very long. Fucking hell. And it was weird as well because like, imagine you're living in this very like sheltered lifestyle. Like we'd live in like mansions, literally like gorgeous houses and we didn't pay any bills and we were making so much money. Well, like what? What did you have to do to live in these houses? Like, do you have to create content? Exist. Because I remember the Wave House, they were saying they had to, it was like a really strict thing where you had to create content at certain times or whatever, but... Yeah, I mean, yeah. So uh, do you know what? Our house, I feel like, was probably the most chill one because mm -hmm. I've heard fucking horror stories. Yeah, I've heard yeah. Horror. I'm sure you have as well. Mm -hmm. The industry talks and I've heard some horrible stories like from, I feel bad. Especially like, about money wise as yeah. well, yeah. Oh yeah, some people had it really bad. But I feel like we were we were quite laid back. The only thing is obviously we had started this at literally the beginning of the pandemic. So it was the literally March lockdown back in the day, back in like 2020. Back in the back day. Back in the day. The home and workouts. Yeah, yeah. There was news articles like BBC interview and I was like, why would you do a content house now? Da, 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 da. We were why like, not? I feel like that's an here? ideal time though, because people have got yeah. nothing to do but to watch you. Yeah. It was all very crazy at the time. And like, obviously I just, I'd quit my job at Nando's to do this. Sure. So I literally came from working Big a normal risk. nine to five yeah. to jumping into social media full time and never went back. So it's, mm. it's, it really, really did like help me get to where I am. So yeah. I'm very grateful, but it was fucking like a lot. Was there a lot, a lot of beef in the house or not yeah. really? There yeah. was. Yeah. 
yeah different ages kind of that kind yeah, of vibe yes yeah, so it was like literally like 16 year olds with like 21 year olds really? like it was a huge like age dynamic like a huge difference between us all and obviously also being in a position where you can't even leave the house like there would be people well, being like oh my god to go yeah because different people have different <laughs> opinions in the house um on, oh like to conspiracy COVID. theorists yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. yeah 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 and so obviously we all had to be respectful of each other's opinions which is yeah. sometimes super hard because mm-hmm. if you're trying to like let's say for example you have a boyfriend and someone's like you, you're not allowed to see your boyfriend today yeah be like i've not seen my boyfriend in a month like, no, i've been waiting I for see him yeah we have like a majority vote like okay oh it's person, like um houses of it. whatever yeah yeah parliament but it was a lot like if one person said no you weren't allowed to do something what? so it was just like it was just a lot of pressure on us and i think every <sighs> single person in that house had really really difficult like we were all pushed to our like limits at that point. really that was it was horrible. did anyone ever walk out like, you know, when you have like arguments, you're just like, yeah, fuck this and walk out. Well, if you walk out, you can't really go anywhere. Cause again, everything was like- Just closed. walking around the fields. Just, like, no, um, I, I tried to leave a bunch of times, but it was like more, it wasn't like me trying to leave. It was more like, I want to go. Like, I just, I yeah. really, I'm really tired of this guys. Like, I just, I don't feel like this is a good environment for me. Cause I'm so like, I'm honestly not a confrontational person. Yeah. I'm being pushed to my fuck. No, like, of course you're going to be, pushed, yeah. I will obviously, and when you live with someone, you become so comfortable around them. Like mm-hmm. literally, if you try and live with your best mate, you'll argue, you will argue. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. You know I mean, so imagine you guys are arguing, but also there's everyone's different opinions. I was going to say everyone's input in it. It was awful. And like, I think it all pushed us to a breaking point at some point. Was so that sort of why it just sort of ended? No, so actually it ended on on time for its contract to end. The contract oh. had ended in that time. So it was actually just on time, on schedule. So but I think they didn't continue it because we weren't getting on. Not Have you even had all. that much online beef as in like we're falling out with other creators and that? Mm, I wouldn't say so. Honestly, I feel like I've I've been quite because I haven't heard that much about it. If you have, yeah, no, I don't think so. I mean, usually I love the tea. So. I mean, I can't. I mean, no, I wouldn't say I have. To be fair, I've never had like any like she did. Oh, actually, mm, I mean, kind of. It wasn't ever really that deep. But with um, Alexi um, and King Junior on TikTok, that's one of my questions. Yes, yeah, I did on. see that on the board. He um, he's someone that I sort of had online beef with. But who? Cool. Which one? Um, Alexi. Oh right, did, did you? you? Person, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Alexi King, Alexi Junior, Alexi. His name Stop is like, it! Because his name is like Alexi Andre Junior. So no, because like at the so Jack Wills names. house, I was like King Junior. Like I didn't know his actual oh, name, so I was just like King Junior. <laughs> yeah, no, he he responds to it all. He responds okay, to it fine. All. But yeah, we, oh, so we you had beef with him. We kind of had beef. Was it because you were seeing him or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, that's okay. the thing as well. Like we're dating people online. It's so much pressure. Like yeah, but I feel like he loves. Pussy. Do you know what I mean? If and you just should not date him ever. Do you know what I, like yeah. he's the biggest red flag he's lovely, but he's a red flag. Yeah. Hundred percent. No, do you know what? Yeah. Unless he's, you're dating him now. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> then you okay. carry do you know on. What? People are speculating right now that we're dating. We're not dating. We're Clear not the rumors up. Um no, but I mean he he's he's yeah. Just easily, I can't. Just, the, everything I say could sound yeah. bad. I don't want to sound like I'm saying him because I'm yeah, not. No, I, I get really you. like him. He's a nice person. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, he is a lovely person. Him coming onto the show mm. was the craziest thing ever. Like I remember, I did not expect to see his fucking ass walk off that bus. But um, <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing him and being like, oh shit, because we had previously had beef, and that was the first time we ever seen. Each oh, other did since. you? I made, I made a whole story time about him. I made a whole story time about him. I bet it was like so. Airs it all out when he comes on the show. Just hello. I'm like, oh fuck, no, fuck, 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 fuck. because but you yeah. can't even escape it, and you've got to talk about in front of the cameras. Yeah, they they really did make sure we had that conversation as oh, well. Oh really? Um, but do you know what? They actually they did it pretty like chill. They did a very chill like we had a long mm. conversation, but they actually only put in like five minutes. But we've made a YouTube oh. video to basically explain everything because it was honestly just miscommunication, which is why I think we had fallen out yeah. in such a big way on socials because he made a video about me on tiktok did and he I was like, okay we're doing this and then i made a youtube video by him I and it, that was the only actual beef i've ever had online but it wasn't even really beef what was the video that he made about you so basically i had i had messaged him privately a few times basically saying like i don't appreciate all these videos that you're making about me because right, okay. he was making kind of like you know how his content is always like about girls and stuff yeah yeah so he would make videos that seem like they're about me like he would talk about when she has no boobs but she's got like a big bum well i can confirm she has boobs yeah guys i'm wearing so, a t-shirt just for you. you yeah but no but like he made videos like that and then be like but also she doesn't label her sexuality like he would kind of oh, like, so like about, literally, yeah yeah it was literally me like mm-hmm. i was literally at the time thinking like if i had died he would literally 
literally make a video being like, when she's just died, she doesn't label herself <laughs> yeah. and she's tall with no boobs. Like that's how I would think you would make TikToks. Yeah. So like, obviously at the time I felt like it was about me. And also during our whole situation, when we were talking, I did feel a little bit like he was using me for views in some extent. Right, because okay. I love making videos with him. They always do well. They always do well with me and him. Like people love to see us together, yeah. which I appreciate, obviously. Um, so we both were playing up to the cameras, of course. Yeah, of course. But I did want to actually like have real conversations with him without actually filming something on that day, and it. Yeah. But then he would always be like, I've got this idea, I've got this idea. And it would make me feel a little bit exploited. So yeah. after we broke up, I thought, let me rest. Do you know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah, let why me have my are still time. talking about me? Yeah. But turns out he was actually dating someone right after me and it wasn't about me at all. It was about, and the girl fits the description so perfectly. So it's actually very embarrassing. That's so awkward you're like, uh, sorry about yeah. that shit. Yeah, but to be fair, how are you meant to know that? But yeah, at the time, obviously I was just seeing it from a perspective of like, we've just like fallen out and I've come to you a few times like behind the scenes, not in front of anyone, not on social media, yeah. like just messaging you as a friend. Well, the best way I to do it. Comfortable, innit? But he would just like, like brush me off and stuff. So then, oh. uh, then he, then I made a TikTok being like, when they don't exploit you for views, and it was mm -hmm. like a. Uh, I want my baby to have your eyes TikTok and I was like oh my god when they don't exploit you for views they're so hot and then he <laughs> stitched it and was like this girl's so insecure what? and I was like oh, oh shit like he stitched it it was actually oh, so with no, chest because that's so like awkward stitched the video yeah 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 so obviously I was like I need to make a story tell about this guy it was a perfect excuse to make a story tell about absolutely it. he'd done it first yeah he'd done it but we're cool now because of the show it really brought so us so it back did together. actually you're fine now we're so good now we're Thank honestly god so good that. and it really was miscommunication honestly like if we had just properly communicated how we felt and everything then it would have been mm -hmm. a lot better but because there was so many like loose ends it got a little bit misconstrued <coughs> we are cool now and i love that um and i think it's really great that that's come out of the show if anything but yeah um i still stand by what i said because that's how i felt but i should. really did feel like that people As are messaging should. me like why don't you delete the story time i'm not gonna delete it yeah but also people always have all these opinions about but it's actually nothing to do with any of them yeah yeah exactly were they in the situation probably it's my not. life you're just in it okay remember that remember that in talking about katie franken's life we are about to address Dubai and I want to yeah, put this <laughs> I want to put this out there now a lot of you who were cancelling influencers for going to Dubai were also fucking your neighbours in fields you were meeting up with your friends in fields where is the high horse now where is it no it's so bad no it because i i remember being like not about the dubai i didn't really give a shit about the dubai but i remember being oh no to be fair i did make a video mocking everyone but i oh, didn't actually did give a shit but not you i just remember being like by my um what did i do <laughs> i did a video like influences in dubai oh no it wasn't it oh. was actually just influences in dubai not during corona oh but um do you find it, i think it's just jealousy though isn't it because you're just a in lot, a nice country you know a lot of people made videos about it and actually hurt my feelings because a lot of them would make videos and then messaging <laughs> me afterwards like hey pure really babe. like i'm like you've made a fucking viral video about my shit <laughs> you've added to this you see pov you're an influencer in Dubai, and they'd be like <laughs> lip syncing exactly what i'm saying but they'd be like well, stop by the way, i hope that you're good by the way it's just a joke and it's a trend and i'd be like you are a piece you of you have shit. added to my pain Anything for the how girl. was that like because i think you but you getting cancelled started the ball rolling on everyone else getting cancelled. Yeah. You were like the the blueprint. I walked so they could have run. Yeah. <laughs> I walked <laughs> so that other Dubai influencers could run. No, literally. Oh, no, but God. you did. Because I remember there was a massive uproar about it. But like, oh, God, it was so, bad. so were you in Dubai when you were getting cancelled? Yeah. Still. Do you know, okay, so... I wouldn't give a shit. I'd have got a daiquiri and went and sunbathed. I, I try to be... I try to make the best out of the situation. Yeah. I just try to be chill. <laughs> still you know what's funny, though? I didn't actually really understand the full gravity of it until I got home. Because obviously, oh, when really? you're in Dubai, you're not, you're not fucking worried about your phone. You're not really in your phone, yeah. In your my, phone? You know on your what? phone. When I, when I was growing up, I never really had like a bunch. My mom, bless her, she's a single parent. She's a nurse. Yeah. Like my mom worked her ass off just to be able to provide for us. So we would do camping holidays and we went to Portugal once. Mm -hmm. We never were the family that got to go abroad. So me and my best friend from school, we were like, fly to fucking cheap, Let's guys. Go. Let's just go to Dubai. As you should, yeah. And like, it was a really, it was honestly a bit stupid. I can't lie. It was a bit irresponsible to, especially I think the most irresponsible thing was for me to be posting it and like flexing it in people's faces when people are actually struggling. That was the part that I felt guilty yeah, yeah, about. Yeah. But other than that, like I was really not seeing that whole thing until I got home because mm -hmm. obviously I was just in Dubai enjoying my first ever holiday, like actually out and actually yeah. abroad and enjoying it with my best time. mate. You know, I just had yeah. a good time. Having on a great yacht. time. <laughs> Shaking but, my ass. Yeah. But then I got home and I was reading all these messages and I think, 
it, it really made me realize that it wasn't just people that were being assholes. It was actually people that really oh, were, yeah, people yeah. that loved my content and they were just disappointed. Mm -hmm. So I did feel bad, but I think people took it far. People took it far. They, yeah, but they people always do. Far, they guys. always fucking do. Why are you sending me death threats? And our government, what, what were they doing? doing? What were they doing? Yeah, this is what I mean. How what were you Johnson actually, with the wine and at cheese? least you were being yeah. open about it. Yeah. At least you at were least saying like you were going <laughs> to Dubai. <laughs> Fuck you. No, it was, it was, it was, it wasn't exactly smart, but it was Yeah, I mean, it's not ideal. Wasn't ideal, but to be fair, don't offer you flights. <laughs> you know I mean? No, like I remember when I got on got on the plane, it was like a British Airways flight baiting you out. No, <laughs> the um, the the flight was like the the hostess was like enjoy your holidays, and my friend was like, see, don't panic because she said enjoy your holidays, holidays which means yeah. you're allowed to have holiday. <laughs> we can she have was really fun. Make me feel better, bless her. Yeah, was that was how was that when you came back though? Because I have a feeling I haven't really been. I don't even want to say it because I don't even want it to happen. I haven't been C worded properly yet, but yeah, I can imagine how intense it is. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. not cunted. Uh, no, oh. I can't. I can't imagine how intense they. Because so I'd walk into a supermarket and be like, "All these people hate me. They all know what it, I've done." Yeah. Does no, it feel like that? That's actually how it felt. Like, because I'm someone that is super shy as well. Like, yeah. I know I might not seem shy, but because I'm, I'm with someone I like yeah. respect and like, I actually watch your videos. So I, I've met you a few times. Yeah. We're, we're chill and I've also got a drink. True. So it's fine. But um, no, I'm not, I'm not like o overtly like confident in real life. So for me to be walking in the street and someone shouts, Mr. Dubai, genuinely. Did they actually Mr. do that? Yeah. Awful. What? They're all like school kids as well, which is actually scary because school kids when they're together is actually no, scary. No, they're fucking scary. Yeah, no, yeah, 100%. A group of boys were just shouting, Mr. Bye. And I remember I was just so scared. I started tearing up and just shaking oh. and looking around with my F. I tried to pretend I was listening to that. Like you couldn't hear. You're like, yeah, no, it was it was definitely stupid, but I think people took it too far. That the DMs I was receiving were fu like awful. How long did it go on for? Uh, it still happens now. It still happens now. It's been like, what, a year and a half now? That's so ridiculous. It still happens now. Sometimes people see, people comment, I haven't forgotten. Yeah, people well, do that to then. Izzy all the time. They like She'll do a really good video. It's really funny. It's got nothing to do with that. And they'll comment on something that's happened. And it's like... Yeah, we haven't forgotten, by the way. Can you not rest? You can, can chill then. You, yeah, can you, you not can enjoy actually... not forgetting because I've actually moved yeah, on. Take the day off. What is do Look after your children. Yeah, they're all Look mums. after your children. Why are they all mums? Why are they all mums? No, they're, they're all, all mums. It's just right before the school run as well. Just oh, letting yeah. stress out. Eating their cocoa <laughs> pops. So can I fucking piss no, off No, literally, I, I said this earlier, but a mum wished that my cats would die. Like a mum, a full grown mum. There's a whole paragraph. It's like... And first of all, that's too far Yeah, in she wanted my... She was like... Because I posted a picture of my cats. She was like, I hope they fucking die. And they did. You piss that they bit What the fucking yeah. cats do? No, literally. She well, said, I hope, some cats, dreamies. I hope that you... I hope your family catch corona. Brilliant. And I hope that your cats take their nine lives and another <laughs> long paragraph. And my cats actually died. Poetry. My cats died like what fucking uh, a week or two later. One of them died, and then two months after that, the other one died as well. I think she hexed me. Basically, she hexed me. She I was wasn't wearing my evil eye, so she definitely. I wasn't protected. Do you know what I mean? She That's me. horrific. No, I would have been on the hunt for her. I'd be getting her IP address <laughs> and everything. Who are you? In case you're wondering what to get your dad for this Father's Day. Does he have a hairy bush? Well, Manscape is here to help you out. Have you ever heard of a ball trimmer? Well, if you use the code GRACE20, you can get 20% off your order at manscaped.com. They have a new performance package 4.0, which has all of the essentials in ready for Father's Day. I'm talking trimmers, toners, whatever else men need. I don't know because I'm not a man. So to get 20% off and free shipping, use the code GRACE20 at manscape.com. Just when you think it can't get any better, Manscape are also releasing some new boxers and may I say they might be the best boxers to date. I've given them a try and let me say there was no camel toe in them. We all know that dads love their comfort. It's coming up to summer. We don't want a sweaty downstairs. With these new boxers, it's comfort central. So again, in case you forgot, you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscape.com using the code GRACE20. What was I going to say? Tattle. Are you on Tattle? Was in like, have you got a shit like no. stuff about you on Tattle? Do you know what? I've seen, um, oh, bless Eden. I saw something oh, about Eden They, ha they, they hate Eden. We don't even eat. I don't understand <laughs> it. It's so mean. People are so mean. No, because she's actually like, in person, she's, she's really so nice. nice. Well, even online, she doesn't no, do anything like, bad. Oh, no, she's probably a mean. She's not. She's actually not. She's nice. And she keeps herself. 
Sorry. Later the noise. She, she keeps herself to herself as well. Yeah. You'll never see her like. That's so smart though. Like mm. I never understood that until obviously I, I got older and I fucking matured. But a lot of people, they, they come onto social media and if they have this big friendship groups, mm -hmm. it can actually be problematic. Obviously I learned that the hard way. Oh, me and you both. Yeah. yeah Fuck so that. Just keeping yourself to yourself doesn't mean you're mean. It actually just means that you're mature and you have a circle of friends that you actually do bond with. Yeah. And, you can trust. and it doesn't your mean you're a dickhead. Your soul exactly. Yeah. But no, Ian's really lovely, but that's the only reason I know about it because I saw someone in her comments saying something about towel life. So I went on to towel life to see what it was. <sighs> Big mistake. It's very fucking sad, mm -hmm. guys. I'm not going to lie. It's very sad. And they even write stuff about Mrs. Hinch. Yes. What? There is, I, when I look at Mrs. Hinch, <laughs> I cannot think of one bad thing about that woman. I don't look at her and go, someone went, a bitch. her dog's fat. And I thought, what are you, what what are you on about? Let him live. He's no living the safe. life. No one is safe on Tattle Life. Not even me. You should have seen the Dubai post. I didn't oh, actually know I about imagine. it until I searched myself oh, You poor girl, but you were like... I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have you done shouldn't. it. I'm scarred. People are writing little comments on it and stuff. Like, like yeah, I don't like her either. She should fucking die. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus. No, my it's flatmate scary. checks that every week for me to see if I've got a towel so she can like calm the damage. Oh, make um, a little account. Yeah, yeah. But I haven't had one yet. Thank God. Oh, but okay. No, but yeah. I know my time. Yeah. I know my time will come. I think every person if that's you, like... Yeah you've got to make it you got to make it and then you this one, yeah. is what i mean when you like every i hate well, not influence but you know what i mean like every person creator, who's like, that's yeah, it creator that's um always gets cancelled at least once yeah and that's how you know you've yeah. uh you've made you it fucking made the it mainstream media side of it but it's actually awful though because like you'll literally get like the bbc like all these different like really? yeah like we want you to do you have any quote like do you want to say anything about the device no actually? i don't i don't actually no i don't i want it to be over actually so i'm yeah, good yeah. don't want to add fuel to that i'm on the verge fire. of dying please no, literally, I'm, please I'm, leave I'm, me I'm alone actually okay to avoid this question the thing that would piss me off the most it wouldn't even be like being cancelled it'd be the people that don't like me thriving off it because you know you know oh my god people love it people love it i hate them like people um oh god i can't even say who it is but someone got their account removed recently on tiktok and i felt so you already know who i'm talking about yeah, don't you? I do. and i felt so bad bless him i was like what the fuck but then people were literally making videos i'm glad he got his videos there I feel like you've right. worked for so many years for this, yeah? <laughs> you're not fucking happy. Because oh, he's just, I think he's just like, I think he just, he doesn't deep it. And I, I don't think it, people are just crazy. I think people misconstrue every single thing that you do. You right, can literally yeah. breathe and someone will be like, you breathed in the wrong direction. Because I know he, that person was getting like handled, but I actually did, I didn't see what was going on. So I didn't I have did, a clue. I didn't see till afterwards. And um, I was like, oh. Well, I, d I still don't have a clue. And then I saw they got their account deleted and I just kept seeing these videos being like good. And I was like, oh. It's just mean though. I just, I mean, I understand where people are coming from because mm. obviously you don't want to see that creator on your for you page or anything. Yeah. yeah. But at the same time, like, like, bro, like, is it every day giving all of your energy to hate on someone? People like, thrive off being mean mean then it's like, like evil people like they don't want you to be happy they want you to they want to thrive off your downfall no nah, i it's remember so one of my friends was getting cancelled um and i saw this girl that i used to be friends with not friends with her anymore um and she one of her mates tagged her and was like lol is this the girl and she was like no it's just one of her mates sit like soon though and I was literally oh like, gosh. what are you fucking on Ew, about? Like yeah, soon, like, what hopefully. You, yeah, like, fingers crossed. Oh, literally, I fuck off. That. Leave me alone. I haven't spoken to you in years. What is wrong with... No, literally, yeah, I, I had um, messages from people being like, I go to your old school and this person that's in sixth form is saying that she said that you've done this to... Izzy has Bro, the same I thing and you've I never, never seen them. You. Yeah. I promise I don't even know you and I never did shit to you. Yeah. I was literally not mean. Yeah, I Izzy had someone mean. from Scotland saying, I went to the same school as her and she used to bully me. And Izzy was like, what, in Aberdeen? No, literally... I ever gone to Aberdeen? Literally, someone told me that they know my mom, and my mom is actually really rich, and she's so successful. She drives a Range Rover. Your like, mum's like, yeah, keep that focus. going, keep she, that going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, thank you. Do you yeah. know what? I would love that to be my reality. <laughs> no, people will literally talk shit. Like, if I ever talk about my background, people are like, yeah, she's actually really rich. So people, I know Yo, her. Why do people care? Someone went to me. They were like, she's got a gravel driveway. She's <laughs> not working class. So no, I was like, like you can put gravel in your drive. Like, why? Also, why do you give a fuck? Like, genuinely, <laughs> yeah. why do you care? Like, what do you want to just? you could work for nice things exactly. you can actually work for nice things exactly and ever think that maybe good things happen to good people it won't be happening to not you. to toot me it on won't be happening to you anytime soon if you talk shit yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. thank you yeah. You're only tattle life, life post yeah. thank Anyone you on there. unless you say nice things cheers <laughs> cheers to being nice cheers. thank you um another thing that you i feel like you semi got 
You didn't really get... Well, you did get hate for it. Was your weight loss? People were really I into it. I did get hate for that. Yeah. Why? I think people... Well, actually, I don't really know. I <laughs> wish I would understand it fully. Mm. But I think that when I would post glow up videos, people would be like, but I, I look... I had the body type that you had before. Are you saying that that's bad? I never said that's Taking bad. it the wrong way. Yeah. yeah I never said it was bad. I, do you know what? It's really weird. I was the most confident mm -hmm. when I was a bit bigger. Genuinely really? I was. Because I think I just felt so like, because the first thing people would say to me is, oh my God, you have such a nice body. You've got such a nice bum. And I'd be like, ah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and like, I would see it as such a compliment. I never looked at it as yeah. thing ever. But now I would find it weird because that's like, obviously the first thing you're commenting on is my body type. That's a bit odd. Like if you're going right. to come into a room and be like, oh my God, your bum. Like that's a bit odd. Like if I've just met you and you know, like, do you know what I mean? That's a bit weird. Yeah. But that's what people would do to me. But I used to take it as a compliment because I was mm. a bit younger. I was a bit more naive. So I was very confident with my body, yeah. but I was just not, I was not healthy. I worked at Nando's. I was eating so much Nando's. I would Hello, eat, me. Yeah. I would eat like a double wrap like two sides of halloumi mash corn i would have all the <laughs> extra the whole thing. like two or three times a day at least because i would get oh it free. my gosh yeah it would be free. that would be me they sweeted me in that nando's and i and i gained weight but it was like it was weight from enjoying food mm -hmm. and that's fine do you know what i mean but i just i started to eat better and i used to be so skinny growing up I used yeah to be like a little scrawny i used to get made fun of again because i had like knobbly knees mm -hmm. and i was all skinny and then when i hit puby it was thunder thighs like you can't fucking win you can't ever you win you can't win so um when i lost weight it wasn't because i thought i was ugly or anything i actually was very confident yeah because people another thing like when people lose weight they're like she's definitely doing it unhealthily no like, she's I, definitely 100 percent. i had a personal trainer and i was just eating right this is and what it I mean. wasn't even to i i honestly didn't even clock that i was like like I was getting a bit bigger. I didn't yeah. even pocket it at all until I saw the after pictures, like before and after, because I took the yeah. my program. And then you're like, oh. And I was like, oh, I like this. <laughs> I like this little extra yeah. like, but, like curvature here. <laughs> this is cute. Um, so like genuinely, I didn't even like, I didn't even go into it with the hopes to lose weight. I went into it, the hopes to just get like, fit. Yeah. And I got fit mm -hmm. and then yeah. it just came with it. And that was fine. And it's not something that I'm, I'm not hating my past self. I think that person was very cute and sweet. Yeah. And I was still very young. Do you know what I mean? Like I was coming into myself. Just a different myself. version. Yeah. This is just too New year, new like. me. Oh yeah, exactly. And also, I feel like people expect us to look like how we looked at like 17 for our whole lives. And your faces change as well. Like people think, I've had, people think I've had plastic surgery on my really? face. <laughs> oh my God. Had plastic surgery. No, I, I had TMJ on my jaw and I stopped TMJ? Yeah, so it's like when you have access, like access, excess, I don't know. <laughs> but you have like yeah. wide jaw because oh, right, okay. you have been chewing gum or your like my jaw, it clicks. I don't know if you can hear oh. it. Oh. ASMR. Yeah. Yeah, ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably gonna make some people cringe. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so I've got like I've got like a problem with my jaw, and my jaw muscles used to be very wide and big, and it used to make my face look a lot wider. And obviously, with weight loss, and I also had like stopped chewing gum, and I had like a mouth guard and stuff. Your face will change yeah, as course. you grow up, but also that played a part of it as well. And people think I had plastic surgery because of that. But and then I when you say you haven't, like, they're like, she's lying. Yeah, she's a liar. She's, a, she's liar. a liar. But they'll take what I said in bath. confidence. Like, I've got oh, lip filler. They'll take that in confidence. Be like, she's got her whole face done now. Because she's got lip filler. I've literally got one amount of lip filler. Now what? Yeah, this well, is why. Do yeah. an x-ray. Show me your face. Shut up. It's like Kim K when she got her ass x-ray. She did. Look. Yeah, look. It's fizzy. No, there's definitely that. That doctor's in on it. He's oh, in on of it. course. People yeah. Just, oh, people just fucking. I feel like that's why I'd be scared to get anything done because, first of all, I'm scared I don't like it. But then also, I feel like people look at you. They're like, oh, well, she's, she's like changed. She's like trying to be someone People she's not. Me as well. That's that, what you can't, you know what? You honestly cannot win. I feel like the, the most important thing that I've learned from that whole, from the whole few years I've been on yeah. social media, I've been on social media since I was like 16, I'm 21 now, is that you really cannot please everyone. You only yeah. need to please yourself. You are literally on this earth. It's quite peak actually, if you're scared of dying, because I'm very scared of dying. Truth, yeah. You're only on this earth for about 70 years before it gets really shit. So you may as well enjoy it. Right. Do you know what I mean? You may right. as well enjoy it. Yeah. And obviously we're in a weird position because we've got so many opinions on us at all times. But just focus so on your And so many focus like, do you know what it is? I feel like I never clock how many people we have probably like following us yeah. when it's a number. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. someone the other day was like, because um, Joe Bags hit a million um, and they were like, oh, that's like Wembley Stadium being filled like a certain <laughs> amount of time. And I was like, that Fuck. is insane that we've got probably like, Wembley Stadium filled like with an audience yeah like or, so many times you as well it's insane but also Weird. Think of the amount of people that have just seen you on the FYP it's fucking terrifying it makes me feel sick it makes me feel sick it's, it's, it's a lot of pressure yeah it's a lot of pressure like 
I never went into it thinking it was going to be that deep, but it's very... No, because you were locked down as well though, weren't you? Yes, yeah. When we came Coming during lockdown, lockdown, we did. I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to make a video. You probably can't even have a career off TikTok. No. I, Change your life. Well... Here we are. Here we are. Thank you. I'm excited to see who's the next up and coming like TikTokers oh, though. I've already met so many of them and they're all so young, bless them. They're like literally mini me. Really? It's crazy. She's like 16 Do you know who I think is going to be big? Who? You know the one who was like, Alexa, play Feel Good Tune, volume seven. Yes. She is going to oh fucking, I know 100%, she's going to blow up. 100%. I don't know when, but she's going to blow up 100%. And we love to see it as well. Love we're her. not on Tattle Live talking shit, are we? No. no. We're not. It's, we love to see it. Like that's genuinely the most important thing is to enjoy the time that you have on social. Yeah, it's actually a really cool experience. You never know when it's gonna go. If you, yeah, as well. if you so, could, yeah, exactly. You never know when you're gonna get cancelled. Keep following me. Day, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. It might just happen to you. Please. Um, crazy, crazy, weird fan interactions because I feel like your content. People are obsessed with your bum. So I feel like you, you probably are. have weird, weird people come up to you thinking they can like. To do whatever touch your bum yeah could do yeah. people do that yeah no no you i was good you can't do it <laughs> yeah do not but you fucking might do that. have tried and that has happened before. really yeah um it, it's very weird like i i, I understand <laughs> yes it's very yes, weird it is. i understand that like obviously I, i'm on socials and i'm making jokes about my bum yeah and i'll talk about my yeah but you can stuff. do it but, like, <laughs> it's, it's fine. my body so it's a bit weird if you do it yeah but do you know what i it's bad but mm particularly with girls when they're drunk like when i'm drunk i definitely am a little bit more touchy than i am when i'm yeah. sober but it's all consensual do you know what i mean because i'm with my mates yeah but of course if you just come up to me and you just try and grab my bum that's odd and that's happened a few times it's really weird and like obviously because it's other women i try not to be like oh my god don't do that to me are you bitch i'm trying to be mean to like, yeah of course yeah night, i don't want to ruin the night but mm. it is also super it's a bit much like don't don't do that because why would you, you wouldn't do that to some random lady on the street just because you see me on tiktok weird. doesn't mean you have the right to grab up my bum cheeks but in, in um winter wonderland for example i was with my friend the hell we were doing a video for youtube of like finding a date for 24 hours because mm -hmm. i did it with another guy and it was so actually i don't know if i should say it but he had <laughs> Basically, yeah, he had a criminal record and I didn't know. So imagine, oh, sorry, I'm I thought that was the plus. No, 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 <laughs> no, sorry, no, no, it's bad. It was a bad criminal record. Oh, it was. Oh, well, it's not. It's not. It's a court case coming up. But basically, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> it's actually fucked. My life's so fucked. But imagine you just <laughs> no, meet you someone for luck. a video and it yeah. turns out that you don't know anything about them. And they turn oh. out that they actually have, you know. So, anyways. Um, I had to refilm the video again with a different person and luckily Nahel was available. And so we met, went up for like a little TikTok day and mm -hmm. I went on for like a little friendship thing. Love He's that. so sweet, I love him. But um, yeah, we did a little video together and whilst we were filming, I went off to go to toilets real quick and went to Wonderland. They're like little port loos right? Ugh. And I'm in the port loo and this girl's just like really drunk, mm -hmm. really. You can tell she's drunk, she's like swearing and shit. She's yeah. just talking to herself. And then she's on <laughs> FaceTime to a guy and then um, she sees me, she's like, oh my God, are you on TikTok? I get anxiety because I'm like, and yeah. And imagine if I just said no one day. I never have, but like, imagine my friends do no. that. They're like, she gets that all the time. It's not her. No, it's <laughs> yeah. not her. But no, I said, yeah, yeah, I am. She's like, you're the girl with the big bum, dead ass. Oh no, no that was me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Because we're, I know you. No, it's it's different. Do you know what I mean? But with this random girl, I didn't know. And I, I'm not immediately offended by that either, by the way. Like, yeah. Obviously, that's great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. But if you're trying to grab it, that's different. If yeah. She's trying to grab my bum. Oh. And being like to the guy like oh look at her bum and i was like no 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 please, <laughs> please look. and then um, i remember i was trying to go into the toilet but the door was ripped off because winter wonderland gets fucking crazy and someone gets the door larry off. yeah so she was like don't worry babe the mold like, wines. i will block the door like i will stand in front of the door <laughs> yeah. and i'll block it but babe you just grabbed my bum yeah without consent. do i trust you do no. we do it no no and i was wearing a bodysuit so I actually agreed yeah. to it and then got into the toilet and realized I have a bodysuit on and I was like, oh fuck, I forgot I had a bodysuit on. If I unzip this, I'll be butt ass naked. Yeah. I really trust this girl. Dangerous she game. FaceTime. So I just thought, fuck it, I'll leave it. So I said, no. Yeah. And she wouldn't let me out and she tried to fight me. She tried to fight what? me because I wouldn't. And then she started saying, are you trying to say I'm too skinny to cover you? And I was like, oh, I'm no, I'm not. Like, and I'm such a, I'm not confrontational. No. I nearly started crying. I was just panicking. Oh. Like, no, no, you're beautiful. I just, I don't, I don't feel comfortable because I, it, I'm wearing a bodysuit. It's fine, babe. Like I can literally cover you. No, no, no. She's so swaying back and skinny. forth. She can't cover shit. It was bad. Oh my <laughs> God. Was bad. And so I just, I had to like, and obviously she's like this on the door and I couldn't like. You're I couldn't panicking right her. now. Yeah. Panicking. I'd panic. Um, 
So I nearly called Nahail, but then luckily she looked away and I just kind of like slid past. And then she was like, I was, I was just joking. And I was like, you weren't. you weren't though. You weren't. You were willing to throw hands because I wouldn't pierce in front nah, of you. Nah, do you know what though? She would have had the fear. The next day, having flashbacks to starting on you, I'd be no, like, I, fuck. And I did not think. And like people, when I told that story before to someone like on TikTok, I was like, someone someone asked me about like Winter Wonder Howls mm. and I said a story about it. They didn't believe me. They were like, that's bullshit. P- girls do do that. I'm being serious. No, if you're, you're right. Drunk, girls Girls can sometimes just like be too touchy and they can start on you if you don't want to be touched. Like that's just true. Girls are scary when they're they drunk. Can, and, I, and I'm very nervous around them. So I'm not. <laughs> I am scared. And I am scared. I am but sometimes shaking. I'll be confident enough to match the energy, but I was just not in that vibe. I only had like a couple of drinks because Nehal doesn't drink either. So I was oh, really? Like, I only had a couple of drinks to be like, respectful. Shit. I didn't want to be yeah. too fucked up. So I only had a couple of drinks. I was not on her level at all. And I just could not match the energy. And I didn't want to piss in front of her. I, I didn't completely agree. And she scared me. Do you think Winter Wonderland's overrated or do you like yes, it? Yes. I've never overpriced. been. It's overpriced. It's overrated. Yeah, I've heard this. It's like, I would go <coughs> if it was like a brand deal in future. Like, is it paid Gifted. Collab? Thank you. Collaboration. Gifted. If you're gifting me a little ride on the Ferris wheel, <laughs> then I'll go. Because it's like literally £12 for a ride. It's insane. And I not don't even like rides. Food. No, I to be So what the fuck? I, I do, do you? like rides. I do like rides. So it's the amount of phobic in me. What can nine I say? Nine pound each or ten pound, depending. And sometimes it's twelve. It better be a twenty minute ride. It's about two seconds long. Brilliant. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Waste that. of money. Don't go. But I mean, yeah, it, it's it's still a good vibe. It's good for pictures. This is true, and everyone goes. I've never had. I've never had a man actually. Um, I've never had oh. a man take me. No, I have. Yeah. Okay. But no, I haven't. Um, they <laughs> don't exist. If you're watching, someone this. come forward. Yeah, here, stand up. <laughs> to be fair though, I don't know if I'd want to. Winter Why? Wonderland's a scary place. Oh, I uh, someone came up to me and they just had their phone stolen. They were literally like in tears, but they were like, I love you on TikTok. And I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, oh, bless you. The worst. No, that's the worst thing. When your phone gets stolen, it doesn't matter. You, you could don't know li- what you could do. You could have met, well, let's not say Johnny Depp, but you could have met oh, God. Fresh Wounds. Um... Who, like, fucking Dua Lipa, right? Yeah. Having the best time. Someone steals your phone, I'm going home and crying for the rest no, of the night. I don't care what's just happened. That That's happens, pissed me off. It happens so much in London at the moment. Like, I, I got robbed outside heaven, um, but they, like, pickpocketed me slyly and they were just, like, being really scary with me. Do you like heaven? I I don't enjoy it. I Let me tell you about the first time I went okay, to heaven. You go. Right? Yeah. Twas my birthday, all right? I just recently turned 22. A lot riding on this. Bit of Taylor Swift. I'm feeling it. Right? Okay. I've been listening to the song on loop for about four hours. Yeah. I'm in the zone. Anyway, I queue up for what feels like a millennium. I've aged. Um, and I get to the front and he, the guy go, they lets all my friends in. So I'm with like a lot of my gay friends, whatever, I let them in. And they go, have you been here before? I said, no. He goes, oh, we're not letting anyone in that hasn't been in before. What? And I'm thinking, well, that's a lie because none of my other friends have been here before. They basically start saying, I don't look gay enough to come in. And I said, what do you want me to do? Get an undercut. Hey, like, what do you want grab, me to do? Grab some girl's face. I'm thinking, <laughs> I'll lick a muff in this fucking queue. If you want me to prove it, I will fucking no. do it. Yeah. And then, the, and then you go in and there's no signal because it's in a cave. Yeah. It's in a cave. Drinks are like 40 quid each. It's just, and then the people in the bathroom are so intense. They're like one person at a time. And it's like, all yeah. right, yeah. I actually was going to go in on my own. <laughs> but now you've said that, I'm going to fucking go in with my friend. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't they like fucking it. fucking mean in those toilets, for mean. real. A woman mean. was just screaming in my face. For what? And I wasn't even like drunk. Like I, to be honest, this is like the most I've been waved in a long time because I try not to drink too <laughs> much. Woo, right? <laughs> for you guys. But no, I try not to drink too much at the moment because I'm Jenny V. Healthy. healthy queen. Yeah. But obviously for special occasions only. Of course. But um, no, so I wasn't even that drunk, but she was treating me like I was some fucking invalid. Yeah, like, it's okay to only have what well, I'm like. I'm not even drunk. Are you can speak, speak to me, normal. I'm not a child. I'm not being sick. There's a girl over there being sick. You <laughs> yeah. should focus on Look her. Look after her. <laughs> She's got a leg up. Just fucking. On the I couch. just have bad vibes. No, yeah, it's not really ideal. Obviously, I'm now traumatized because I've been three times, oh. and the third time I did get robbed. So, oh, did you? Yeah. Your phone? Uh, well, no. Do you know what they took everything but my phone, including my passport? I got identity theft. Fraud. What? Fraud. Fraud. No, so they um they was like three girls. I made a video about it. It was obviously story time as well. Everything. Story <laughs> yeah. Time. I'm but late no, to so the I queue. I made a video about it, but it was basically I was just in the line for heaven. The line was insane. It was literally like two blocks back. Uh-huh. I was like literally going all the way back. Um, and then we were in the line and we, Belle, I was with Belle Priestley. She mm-hmm. was getting like some people talking to her from the queue. Some people that knew her from TikTok. So she was talking to them. And then um three girls came up to me and 
again, I'm quite shy, like in real life, mm-hmm. unless I feel like it comes from a good place. Yeah. But I can sense people's auras. I'm a Pisces, okay? I can sense things. I see I'm sensitive. it. Yeah. So um, I could tell that they were a bit odd because they were really jumping on me and touching me and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't sure if they were from TikTok because that does happen. Like, sometimes yeah. people know you, they feel like they know you. So like, they're going to come with high energy. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to match their energy and I wasn't even drunk and they seemed like they were fucked. They had drinks in their hands and they were grabbing me, grabbing my face, grabbing my neck oh. and being like, oh my God, where's your hair? Like, is that real? Like, and I was like, yeah you yes. know it's real it's fucking short it's not even like that <laughs> unrealistic it's real yeah and then i could feel them touching my bag but like listen i'm so unconfrontational that i didn't even like even though i thought i was being like robbed i didn't even like i didn't initiate a fight yeah because i'm too scared well no i wouldn't so. either you're also we're in london yeah, you don't exactly. know what these people they are about you in a knife you never know you never like, know you actually don't know no, no genuinely genuinely yeah genuinely. it's better to play dead actually yeah i'm not fucking actually. risking it so i was just like ha ha like thank you and i got one of the girls instagrams and then she ran off and um actually stole my passport my all of my ids um, I had my two debit cards in there as well. All my, my Fenty lip gloss. Not the Fenty. Like, yeah. Everything from that bag was just scooped out. But luckily I had my phone in my hand, which is why she didn't That's take it. That's mad they managed to do phone. that. Yeah, but my house keys, everything was gone. What are we yeah. going to do with the fucking house keys? Well, I'd be panicking. Just, I think she just scooped it out. But I remember <coughs> she dashed my passport into Leicester Square and someone from my audience found it. Luckily, like that's so someone lucky. From TikTok just found my passport, but at that point, I'd already reported it as stolen. Oh right, so it okay. was already like fucked. Invalid. Like, there was no point. Yeah, there was no point because it was already gone. So I've got to get a new passport. I got a new one, anyways. But fucking hell, a bit traumatizing. Yeah, I'm just not going back to heaven. Oh, and then someone did a shit outside my front door that same what? night. There was a shit outside. A human poo. The police <sighs> ran everything. It was a human poo. I don't know. Who Might your ear report that as well, yeah, dirty bastards. Same girl, not. No, it was actually... It was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dropped your keys did, off and shout on your doorstep. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. She wanted to like pay her fucking respects. <laughs> no, so there was, there was a human poo. I remember I nearly stood in it. I came out of the lift and I, I walked towards my apartment and I just saw like a a, like a, a brown blob past my... <laughs> <laughs> and I just remember being like, there's absolutely no way a poo is at my door But right your now. life has gone bad to us. There was a poo and it was actually uh, my neighbour done a shit. Mm. They were just absolutely more. Your neighbor. Oh, okay. okay, yeah. okay. I thought this was shit. just common theme no, for the no, neighborhood. They, they were fucked. And unfortunately, they didn't have any CCTV. But I got a ring camera right after this because I was so traumatized. As you should. As you but should. Yeah, I got a ring camera that would have caught it. would have been so iconic. But it was a big. It was actually like. It, I wanted to know who it was because I was actually proud. It was actually. <laughs> it was a very a hefty, sturdy, shit. healthy looking pig. Do you know what it is? You can actually tell the human shits. There was one on the. When I walk on the way to the studio, there's like a little. Uh, <laughs> Like a, not a doorway, but like when you walk down there, it's like a little, yeah, a yeah, doorway. doorway. Fuck it, I'm naming yeah. it. There was the biggest shit I have ever seen. And it was like one of those emojis where it like curls round. And I, with me and my friend Tat were like, that's a human <laughs> shit. A human the pit. amount of flies were on it. We came back uh-uh. and filmed this. We came back. Why is it green now? Oh, yeah. It's it ferments quick. <laughs> it actually was disgusting. Mine was dark brown. Like it was like a healthy looking. They'd been eating their fibers. Yeah, their wheat bix No, and I know who the guy was. I've seen him now. I saw he was in our WhatsApp group. Of course, it's a man. Yeah, it was. it was a man. Yeah, of course, it is. He moved out. As he I should. I know who it was. Yeah, and he actually commented on my TikTok live stream because I was talking about the situation, and he commented. That's how I knew it was him. <laughs> Just so fucked. So I'm really drunk that night. I was like, "What? The Your fuck? life is Why fucking ridiculous." But I thought it was a personal attack. Like I was scared. I was see, I was on high alert. I just it's, robbed. It's like you know when people like they mark your cars when they want to kidnap literally. you. You were like they shout on the literally doorstep. They were. Yeah, no, yeah. literally. I was like I've just been robbed. That's heaven. Heaven's gate as well. At a holy place, guys. Holy place. Been robbed and now I come home to to peace because I was obviously traumatized. I had to go. God's home. rolling in this. And there's a shit. I've been welcomed by a poo. It wasn't good. I thought it was a personal attack. Do you know what? The Once again, every episode has shit in. I don't know no, how we did it. And I don't even plan it. There's no escaping it. I don't There's plan no it. There's no escaping it. Oh, welcome to Saving Poo. Saving Poo. If you had any advice for me in general, in life, anything, oh my gosh. what would it be? Oh my gosh, no, I feel like I've, I've, there's so no, much I know there's saying. something in there. Uh, don't worry about things you can't change. That's okay. advice. Oh, that's a good one. Every yeah. single person. I am so, I'm such an overthinker. Mood. Literally, don't worry about things you can't change because if it's happening, it's meant to be. The universe loves you. You're yeah. here for a reason yeah. and enjoy it. Life's short. That Have was fun. beautiful. Thank you. That was absolutely brilliant. I feel like I've learned a lot. Yeah. I have to say, um, thank you for coming on. Any last words? Any no, inspirational I words? I've just, just realised I keep doing this. <laughs> so the no, same. I keep going. 
<laughs> and I'm just like, there's gonna be a lot of random cutaways of me doing that. Um, <coughs> no, it's been great. I'm really, yes. I'm really excited to see because I actually watch this podcast as well. So I really, Woo! I literally came on so nervous. I was like, I'm really excited. Like, <laughs> too shy, too shy. I'm just so, so quiet the whole time. I'm not quiet. No, you were great. I could talk for the country. That's so, what we love yeah. to say. Love it. Well, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. This has been Saving Grace. And if you're watching, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're listening on any other platforms, give it a follow and a five-star rating.